book is Dora's Perfect Pumpkin. Hi, I am Dora. Abula is making a pie, a pumpkin pie. Do you like pie? I do. Ruth and I have to go to the pumpkin patch. We will get a pumpkin to make the pie. Map says we need to go over the troll bridge and to the farm. We can take this wagon to carry our pumpkin. Here is the troll bridge, and here is the grumpy old troll. The grumpy old troll has a riddle for us. There are four seasons. Do you do, do you know them all? There are winter, spring, summer, and do you know the answer? Right. The answer is fall. Good job. Now we can cross Troll Bridge. We made it to the farm. We need to find the orange pumpkins. Do you see the pumpkin patch? Is is this the pumpkin patch? No, these are not pumpkins. These are tomatoes. Is this the pumpkin patch? No, these are not pumpkins. These are peppers. Is this the pumpkin patch? Yes. Look at all the pumpkins. Boots and I need to pick a pumpkin now. Should we pick this pumpkin? No, it is too big. Should we pick this pumpkin? No, it is too small. Should we pick this pumpkin? Yes, it is the perfect pumpkin for a bonus pie. Now we can put the pumpkin in our wagon. We will take it to Abula. We made it. Now Abula can make her pumpkin pie. Boots and I help. We scoop out the pumpkin seeds. Then Abula mixes sugar, milk, eggs, flour, cinnamon. And pumpkin. She pours it in the crust. Then she puts it in the oven. Soon the pie will be done. The pie will taste so good. The pie is done. Yum! It is a perfect pumpkin pie. Thank you for helping us today. The end. What is your favorite part of the story? My favorite part of the story is where they find the perfect pumpkin. Dora the Explorer, the Halloween Cat. Hi, I'm Dora. I am dressed as a dinosaur for Halloween. Boots is dressed as a banana. We see a small black cat. I am lost, says the cat. I have to go home for the big Halloween party. Boots and I will help the cat. Will you help too? I will. Will you? The map knows where the cat lives. The cat lives. In the happy castle with the good witch, says Map. We have to go to the haunted house and into the spooky forest to get to the candy castle. We are at the haunted house. It is dark inside. We need something to help us see in the dark. Can you spot the flashlight? 
Look, it's under the mittens. Do you see it? There are many doors in the haunted house. A ghost says, "Find the door with seven spiders." There are one, two, three, four, five spiders here, and there are three spiders here. There are four spiders here, so this must be the door. Yay! We made it out of the haunted house. Now we will go to the spooky forest. Do you see the spooky forest? I see the dancing forest. I see the bird nest forest. Look, there's the spooky forest. Uh oh! Here is a gate. Map says an orange key will open the gate. Do you see an orange key? Look, there's a yellow key, a green key. Look, that must be the orange key. Watch out! Swiper will try to swipe the key. Say, Swiper, no swiping! Yay! We stop Swiper and we open the gate. Map says the red leaves will lead us out of the spooky forest. The yellow leaves lead you to a spider. The orange leaves lead you to a monster, but the red leaves lead you to a path. We made it out of the spooky forest. Now we have to find the candy castle. Look, all the spiders and bats are wearing goggles. That's a cave. Look, that's the candy castle. Here we are at the candy castle. But how? But how do we get in? Use the broomstick, says the cat. Look, that crocodile is dressed like a pig. Wow, we are flying! Hello, good witch. We did it! The cat is home with the good witch. Happy Halloween! The end. What is my favorite part of the story? My favorite part of the story is where we saw Swiper's shadow as he was coming in the haunted house. Dora the Explorer. Dora's chilly day. One chilly day. Boots and Dora went to a bula's house for a visit. They found a bula making a surprise tree. Her special recipe called for milk. Her special recipe called for milk, sugar, and three pieces of chocolate. A bula lifted the top of her chocolate jar. Oh no! I'm out of chocolate, she said. I can't make my chili day surprise without it. Boots and I can help, Dora told Abula. We'll go to the chocolate tree to get some chocolate. Then you can make your chili day surprise. Dora and Boots bundled up in hats and scarves and headed outside. They asked Map for directions to the chocolate tree. To get to the chocolate tree, go over the troll bridge and through the nutty forest," said Map. "Vamanos," said Dora. "Let's go." As Dora and Boots walked toward the troll bridge, the cold wind blew. Brrr! The wind is so strong. What a chilly day," said Dora. Just then, Dora and Boots ran into Diego. I'm bring I'm bringing straw to Mama, to Mama Bluebird, so she can build a nice warm nest for her bluebird babies," said Diego. Dora and Boots said goodbye to Diego and went on their way. Soon enough, they came to the troll bridge. The grumpy old troll had a special chilly day riddle for them. This riddle is tricky," 
you'll have to think twice. When the water freezes, it turns into... What do you think it is? Maybe it's ice? Let's see in the book. It was a tough riddle, but Dora knew the answer. Ice, she said. Dora had solved the riddle. The grumpy old troll led Dora and Boots across the troll bridge. Next, they came to the nutty forest. There was a very mucky mud puddle blocking the path. We have to cross the mud puddle to get to the nut nutty forest, said Dora. She spotted some stepping stones. We can use the stepping stones to hop across the puddle. Dora and Boots crossed the puddle and made it to the nutty forest and found the chocolate tree. Abula needed three pieces of chocolate for her chili day surprise. Dora and Boot carefully counted the chocolate pieces. Uno, dos, tres. One, two, three. Thank you, said Dora to the chocolate tree. Then she and Boots headed back to Abula's house. Dora and Boots brought the chocolate home to Abula. Now Abula could make her chili day surprise. While Abula mixed in the chocolate, Dora and Boots helped her by singing Bate Bate Chocolate! Bate Bate Chocolate! Abula's chili day surprise was hot chocolate. Delicious though, said Dora. I love drinking hot chocolate on a chilly day. The end. What is your favorite part of the story? My favorite part of the story is where Dora was singing Bate Bate Chocolate.